We begin this news hour in Jerusalem, where Israeli police have fought with Palestinians at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Police say they entered the courtyard to arrest young Palestinian stone throwers. But the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, has condemned what he says was an attack against worshippers at the site. The confrontation comes just hours before the start of the Jewish New Year. Well, the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, uh, the Al-Aqsa compound itself, rather, is inside the old city in Al-Haram al-Sharif, also known as the Noble Sanctuary. For many Muslims, it is the third holiest site in Islam after Mecca and Medina. It's also the most sacred site in Judaism and is known as the Temple Mount. Israel captured the site in 1967 and annexed it with the rest of East Jerusalem in a move that's never been recognized internationally. Al Jazeera's Scott Heidler joins us now live from West Jerusalem. Scott, what's the latest? Well, the very latest, Adrian, is we know that um, those clashes have pretty much stopped um, and have uh, over the last several hours, uh, particularly in the Al-Aqsa compound there. It moved into uh, different parts, different small alleys within uh, Jerusalem's old city here. Um, it, it seems now that it is calm. Now, Adrian, this is something that uh, obviously, as you described, it's a very sensitive issue. It's a very important location for both religions. So it's a very uh, sensitive area and it's a very sensitive time now. As you mentioned, sunset tonight, Sunday will uh, mark the beginning of the Jewish New Year. So a lot of uh, faithful uh, we'll go to uh, the Western Wall, which is right next to, to the um, Al-Aqsa compound, and also go to the Al-Aqsa compound to pray as well. And that's where it becomes a point of friction. Obviously, the Muslims who are, who are there uh, don't appreciate that. So particularly now, that's why um, you know, it, it's kind of a sensitive time. Now, this is something we've seen in previous uh, holiday periods, Jewish holiday periods. Like last year, there were also clashes similar to this then. So as, as you can imagine, the, both sides were kind of bracing for some type of, of flare-up, and, and that's exactly what we saw in the early morning hours on Sunday, Adrian. Scott, what, what, I mean, what, flared, what, what triggered this, this flare-up, uh, as you call it? The police say that, that uh, uh, Muslim youths were inside the mosque armed with stones and they call homemade what they call homemade explosives they were fire fireworks basically uh, uh, what 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 triggered it What we believe uh, to be the case, and this is what's been coming out in some reporting, is that um, there are some right-wing uh, Jewish groups, Jewish uh, activists who uh, go into the Al-Aqsa uh, compound um, they're not supposed to pray in there, but they go in there and they pray, and then that's where this tension previously has flared up. We know that there were some groups, some activists, who were waiting to get into the compound. Um, obviously, it sounds as though the Palestinians were waiting for that, um, and that's possibly when this happened. The gates to, to the compound hadn't opened when this tension flared up, but from what we're hearing, activists were ready and were uh, going to be going in. Now, we spoke with one of these activists um, uh, just a couple of days ago because we're focused on um, you know, who's behind these activist groups and why they do this. Um, it's a movement that's been going on, some say, for decades, um, but it seems as though, and this is what um, could have triggered this today, and that is that there are some right-wing Israeli politicians who are becoming part of these activist groups, and we are hearing that the Minister of Agriculture, a right-wing, uh, a member of a right-wing political party here in Israel, was waiting to get into the compound this morning. Now, if that directly sparked what we saw in those early morning hours, it's, it's difficult to say, but uh, clearly it contributed because that's what we've seen um, over the last year or so when we see these clashes there. Scott, many thanks. Scott Heidler in Jerusalem.